Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle thought she could become Princess Diana overnight when she married into the British royal family, a former conservative British politician recently claimed. David Miller formerly held positions with John Major's conservative government during the 1990s before he stepped down to become a broadcaster and political commentator. Speaking to GB News host Eamon Holmes on Wednesday, Miller said that Meghan was turning her life into a soap opera after the release of her podcast Archetypes on Tuesday. The podcast release, in collaboration with streaming giant Spotify as part of a multi-million dollar content creation deal signed in 2020, saw Meghan conduct an interview with close friend Serena Williams, as well as reveal personal anecdotes in connection with labels that society applies to women. She's turning her life into a soap opera, and she's a soap actress, so why wouldn't she? Meller told GB News viewers of his opinion on the podcast. Basically, it's a sort of crazy world which she inhabits where she assumes that everyone is totally fascinated by every little detail, either of her current life or of her past life, and doesn't mind whether it's true or not. Meller then said that though he had initially been a fan of Meghan's when she first joined the royal family, he believes she thought she could become a figure like Princess Diana without undertaking the dull work that Diana had to. Personally, when Meghan Markle came into the royal family, I thought this was a good thing, he said, and that it would be good that a woman of color should be a part of the royal family and that it would make the royal family seem to embrace larger sections of the community. Unfortunately, she seemed to think that she could drift into the royal family and become Princess Diana overnight, Meller continued. In my time as a minister and politician, you see a lot of members of the royal family in action, and a lot of it is a pretty dull job actually. The point is it's not glamorous, and you feel with Meghan that it was a big disappointment. Meller's comments come as Meghan has featured heavily in the press since the release of her Archetypes podcast, prompting one British commentator to state her belief that the royals' treatment by the British tabloids is not very fair. Rachel Johnson, a broadcaster and sister to outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson, responded to a call in question about why Meghan gets a disproportionate amount of native coverage in the UK tabloids as opposed to focusing on her positive endeavors, such as her podcast, by saying, I have seen some podcast coverage on Mail Online and the more tabloid -y end of the business here. Meghan is a story, but you're right. I don't think that she does get necessarily very fair treatment. Johnson was criticized in 2016 for writing an article referring to Meghan's DNA as exotic, something she has since apologized for. When she announced the podcast earlier this year, Meghan stated that the aim of her Archetypes podcast was to dissect, explore, and subvert the labels that try to hold women back. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.